Hello, I'm Neely of Mummy and Papoose. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to do figures of eight. Figures of eight are fantastic for working your obliques. They're a nice stretch on the hips. Really good for isolation and coordination work because the hips are doing one thing while the chest and the feet are doing another. And for the baby, it's a very nice rocking motion. You can settle them down, maybe even put them to sleep. Let's go ahead and give this a go. Today our spectator is the penguin. So we'll demonstrate what we can do. We're going to start with our feet parallel and about hip width apart. And what we're going to work on is diagonal movements in the hips and weight shifting. And we'll put that together and create a beautiful figure of it. So we're going to start with having, uh, we're twisting our hips from one side to the other. Okay, so from one diagonal I twist to the other and the other. The hips are going, reaching up for each corners of the room. So front and back and front and back and front and back. And now we're going to add a weight shift. Okay, so we're staying in the diagonal and we're shifting our weight forward and back and forward and back. Let's try that on the other side, okay? And again, we shift our weight forward and back and forward and back. So now we're going to build up to the figure of eight. So through the diagonal, I'm going to start with shifting my weight back and from the side, I bring my weight forward. Through the diagonal, I shift my weight back and from the side forward, back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. And you do this one fluid movement and you can already see how it draws a figure of eight around your feet. Notice that my chest is still facing you, my feet aren't moving. A good place for your hands is either by your side, helps keep your balance, or hugging your baby. And that's also really nice for your heart. We can do the figure of eight also to the other direction, where we start through the diagonal, we shift our weight forward, and from the side back. Shift forward from the diagonal and back, forward and back and forward and back. And again, if you do it in a fluid movement, you see the figure of eight being drawn around your feet. Fantastic. There's a much more complicated move than it looks. I think it's the isolation that gets the body confused because oftentimes you kind of want everything to join in, but actually, if you want to get the full effect of the obliques and the stretch, that's where you need to work on the isolation. You can make the movement bigger if you may have a wider stance and bend your knees, okay, or the other direction. Or you can keep it small like we've been working. Okay, both are good. A lot of people will find that one direction is easier than the other. Just work on whatever's fun for you. Um, so that's the figure of eight. Give it a try, let me know if you have any questions. And of course, if you're in the Kingston Serpentine area, it'd be really nice to see you in class. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.